In this video, we're going to be using Shannon Soap's Blood Bath and the Blackland Dart Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Before we get into the content today, I remind you this video is brought to you in part by our sponsor Leaf. I'll pop up the Leaf and the twig right there. If you'd like 5% off your order at Leaf, use discount code IMCDB and save some money while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. All right, <clears throat> we have an excellent one for you today. We are using, using <laughs> excuse me, I'm already tongue twisted. Shannon Soap's Blood Bath, with, which is a special edition soap uh, for the razor and brush uh, Facebook group. So if you're not, not a member of that group, you can join it. You can still get this soap if you're interested. This was sort of a tribute soap to Ed uh, Munoz, a member of the group there. He used to cut himself a little while doing straight razor shaves and Shannon's got in on that fun and uh, made this up. I'll go ahead and show you the slide where they describe what it is to Munoz yourself, which means to <laughs> cut yourself. And I think that's pretty cool the way um, Shannon's gets involved with the community. Again, this is Bloodbath. This is in the Chupacabra base, which is very, very good and easy to lather. $16.95 for four ounces or on our cost chart there, $4.23 per ounce, which is a fair price. The scent on this is kind of a strawberry scent, which I like medium scent strength. And there is a look at the soap and you could see that color to it. And that's meant to be a sort of a joke about Ed cutting himself and getting blood in the lather. So if you use this soap, you can't tell <laughs> if you got blood in your lather. So really, really fun soap from Shannon's. And I think this will be on sale uh, available through the end of the week or so. So get it now if you want it. Again, lathers easily. I'll show you the ingredients at the base right there. This is a very good quality soap, super easy to lather. It's one of the reasons I love lathering it. I'll pop up a lather pick right there. It's a really nice soap in my opinion. I love using it. The razor for today is the now Obtanium uh, Blackland Dark. They do not make this razor anymore and it's a quite an efficient razor, I think. And if you happen to see one and it's around a hundred bucks, um, you know, you may want to get it because they don't make them anymore. Certainly is a good looking razor. I had one and it wasn't polished and I was like, eh, it's kind of duplicative since I have the Blackbird. But when I saw this one for under a hundred bucks, I was like, I got to get that. <laughs> so I picked that one up. The blade for today will be the Cloud Blade, same one that I used yesterday. And let's get into the shave. I hope you guys are doing well, guys and gals. All right, wet the face. Now let's get into the Shannon's lather. Shannon's is just crazy easy to lather. The consistency on this soap is soft, but certainly not too soft. And we have an excellent sheen on this lather, as is customary when I use Shannon's. Um, for me, it's probably one of the easiest soaps to get a great lather from, to get a great sheen from. It's sort of easy mode for me, so I use it a lot in tutorials because just I think it's almost like cheating when you're using Shannon's. There's something about it it makes it really easy to get a nice dense lather, especially this Chupacabra base, which is my favorite base from Shannon's. I prefer it even over the Rest Belt Reserve, which is their premium line. The Chupacabra here is their mid-grade, but I'm going to tell you their base formula is great too. And I like that Shannon's offers different formulas for different budgets. I like that a lot. I think that's awesome. But man, oh man, this is good stuff. That is for sure. Wow, we smells great too. All right, we are looking forward to getting into the shave. And Ed, here's to you if you're watching. Hope you're watching, Ed. Let's get into the shave today. Been waiting for this one for a while. I was traveling, so Shannon uh, sent mine early, earlier, I should say, because uh, again, I let him know in advance I'd be traveling. They were kind enough to send it over. And uh, if you're interested, you know, you can join the lather and brush Facebook group. But if you do apply, make sure you answer their questions. Otherwise they won't let you in. There's questions to sort of make sure it's not a bot account or a fake account or something like that. So make sure you answer those questions. Now the razor here, the dark to me always felt pretty efficient and uh, it remains that way. You could, you could definitely get some blade feel from this razor. It's not too much, but uh, you can feel it. So this is one that 
you know, I definitely feel brings some efficiency. I think it was marketed initially as like a easygoing everyday razor. I don't know that this would have been an easy um, everyday razor for a lot of people because it's it's pretty efficient. I would call it, you know, in blade feel probably a good seven out of ten. And again, these the cloud blades here, which I'm using, I don't know if they're the smoothest blade. So that might make it feel like it's even more blade feely, but um, it's definitely an efficient razor. And man, that Shannon's is slick, and it really is a a uh, so it's really easy to lather. I have at least two or three different Shannon's tutorials for lathering. Um, check them out below if you please, and you'll see that you know it's for me it's pretty easy to lather these and get a really nice sheen, nice creamy lather, which is, you know, it's not required, but it's kind of fun to do. But don't, don't beat yourself up if your lather doesn't look picturesque or, you know, it doesn't look like a, a show lather. If it's working for you, go with it. It's no problem at all. All right, that first pass was really, really excellent. And quite frankly, that's what I expected. I always know when I'm using Shannon's it's going to be a fantastic uh, shave performance wise. Um, the soap is just stellar. Absolutely love it. And again, the ease of use really makes it great for me because I don't want to struggle and be, you know, constantly adding product and fooling around with the lather. This one just comes along quite easily. So no problems at all. And one of the things I really like about Shannon's is they do things like this where they're involved with the community. They are partners with us. That is to say, they watch the videos, they participate, they, they'll throw in a good joke or gag. They're not just here to collect our money. They work with us, you know, and, and do fun things and, and they're um, involved. And to me, that means a lot because there are some artisans who just are there to make money, you know, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong. But I prefer to buy from people like Shannon's who, you know, they're out there participating and having fun with us and, you know, sort of working with us to grow the hobby as opposed to just selling us something saying, hey, this is for sale. Here you go. You know, to me, that means something to you. It may not. So you use whatever, you know, product you love, but there are some artisans who, who rarely lift a finger to involve themselves in the community. They're just like, here's what I have. And. For me, you know, I don't buy as much as that, um, as much of those artisans as I would like Shannon's and A and E and and others. Of course, there are many, many others that are really good stewards of the community, as far as I'm concerned. Because to me, I look at this as a sort of joint effort to to grow this hobby and to have fun. You know, joint effort of having fun as well. And a soap like Bloodbath today, where they're sort of tributing. Ed Munoz, I just think it's awesome. And so thank you, Shannon, for doing it. Thank you for your participation. Brian gets out there and participates too. So it's a lot of fun. Or at least it is for me. All right. Let's get involved with the second pass here. And again, I'll do two passes today with just a little bit of cleanup. And I'll tell you right now, I probably don't need much more than two because I do find this dart to be pretty doggone efficient. And so it's doing, I think, a pretty good job today, or allowing me to, I should say. I forget that sometimes. The purpose is the, of the tool is to allow me to perform, and uh, it certainly is allowing for that, so that's awesome. I want to remind you again that uh, CB Shaves from the UK is uh, coming up on that 1,000 subscriber mark. Uh, if you haven't checked out CB, please do. We certainly like to see people going over that 1,000 mark and uh, I don't know, it's just sort of a, it's a goal for people and we like to see them hit that goal because, you know, if CB is doing well and people are finding traditional shaving from CB, they're going to be buying these soaps, they're going to find other channels. It's good for all of us, so we should all be rooting for one another to be successful in, the, in our hobby whatever, however you measure success. 
to me, I don't always measure it in, uh, in terms of subscribers or views or anything like that. That's not, that's a goal, but it's not the driving force. I just want to, for me, if I'm doing my part to grow the hobby and actually number one is to enjoy. So I'm successful if I'm enjoying my shaves, but two, whenever I see people and they come in, they make a comment, Hey, you know, I sort of found this hobby from you. I learned a traditional shave, found your channel first or among the first, and then I'm achieving my primary goal right there. That's what I like to do the most. Then everything else that comes along with it is great too. The subs, the views and all that. We appreciate all that. Don't get me wrong. You wouldn't make content if you didn't want people to watch, you know, but that's not the driving force. That said, we do like to see people growing and see the hobby growing generally. So if you hadn't subscribed to CB, I'd give him a sub and help put him over that 1000. That would be excellent. All right, we'll do a really quick, won't even do a full leather. I'm just going to do a sort of quick cross here. Oh man, this soap smells nice. Performs great. I'm really happy with it. Oh, by the way, one thing I forgot to mention, um, since this soap is colored, if you have like a, a light, colored natural hair brush you might want to be careful with it they do warn you about that at shannon's and again this will be available i think through the end of this week so if you want it you know join the lather and blade facebook group make sure you answer those entry questions and make sure you have a real account and uh, grab it if you please should arrive to you somewhere around halloween ish so check it out if you want to. You know I love it. You know it's a keeper. For me, of course, this one will not be going anywhere. Oh, very nice. Nice and slick. Ease of use through the roof. Cost, great. I can't say enough good things about Shannon's. Of course, you already know this if you watch the channel. It was a sleeper brand. Uh, excuse me. It was a sleeper brand for a long time, but it's finally came out of the shadows and getting the respect it deserves. And I couldn't be happier about that. So, excellent shave today as expected with Shannon's. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. And then we applied our Razor Rock Alm. No stinging. So that was a super smooth shave and you know how we did it. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. All right, really, really nice. Following the Alm, we did a cool water rinse. And then after toweling off, with our Lancaster towel, we use the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel. Excellent shave today with Shannon's Soaps Bloodbath. Really, really nice. This will be available probably throughout the end of the week. If you're a member of the Lather and Blade Facebook group, you can grab it. Grab it now if you please. And if you're not a member, uh, get in there and grab it. If you would like, we use the Blackland Dark, which is a really a nice razor. And again, this one was quite affordable at around 100 bucks. Really couldn't pass that one up. We used our West Coast Shaving Honeycomb Brush in the Lancaster Razor Works Brush Soaking Mug. I'm going to finish it off today with, again, Razor Rock Aquatico because I'm trying to kill this one off. I have uh, one more message for you folks today. Um, life is short. I'm watching uh, two women that I, you know, love uh, struggle um, day to day. My mom and mother-in-law with cancer. I got to tell you folks. Life is short. Don't spend it arguing over politics on social media. Enjoy yourself. Find things that you enjoy. Find things that you have in common with others and appreciate those shared values. It's so difficult to watch people that you care about um, struggle. It just, it really brings things um, into perspective. And also, I want to remind you, tomorrow, the 14th of October, Kim Gray will be undergoing a very serious procedure uh, and if you could offer thoughts and prayers for Kim and, and also my mother and mother-in-law, I would really appreciate it, folks. Just be mindful of the fact that you have limited time. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy one another. Embrace um, the values that you have in common. Don't focus on the differences you have, folks. Life is just too short. And I hope that message will hit home today. Wishing you many blessings. Thank you so much. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, Joe Shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.